Match one, it's what we've all been waiting for, and we're straight into the action, Harry. We're not waiting around. Heroic T-side start on their map, pick its train. Uh, with Astralis in the outer yard, only three here. Dupree's gonna find a first kill device. Dinked on the inner bomb site, but that bomb is already get planted on out, so we still have Astralis stacked on the wrong site. Where well, they try and deal with this lurk of testers. They are at least getting the kills on A, but the bomb's been planted, and the retake is on with no kit. Oh, yikes, and for Tessas and Nico left in this two on five, they are going to be hard pressed to get back into it. Tessas, the only man remaining, and even then, it only lasts for a matter of seconds. Astralis, they're going to find themselves the pistol around here. They get this locked in. Spotted. He's about to rotate out of Heroica throwing their full utility and trying to retake me. Oh, Tessas has gotten into B, and while all this is going on, Stown just still selling this uh, this little fakeroo into the A bomb site. Now that he's slowed right down, actually, he's available to come in late on this flank. And Astralis, they don't even like they're attempting this one. This is already the Ooh. <laughs> this is already the save, or at least it's meant to be. Of course, the attempt at the bonus from Astralis, and Hugo, I have to agree with you. It did feel a little bit unfortunate. And right now, Astralis are very hungry, hankering for fights, pushing the perimeter. Dupree and the Pop Dog, he's going to get dropped onto. Lots of damage, but Nico getting away with a kill. Astralis have the smoke down on Ivy, and a spam's going to hit the vice down low. He returns the favor, but no one's come out well uh, well here for either side. Heroic are going to decide to leave that position and go back towards the B halls. Two players above Pop about to drop. Um, and just, he just mows them down. Nice and easy stuff. That's going to leave Heroic in a real predicament. Two players, very low health in a two on four against Astralis. So I kind of can't wait to see what Heroic or Astralis have planned for the mid round. We've been waiting for Yuki, armed and dangerous with a scope cannon. Uh, this is the side of train is certainly going to bow well for it. He's going to hit a bit of a tag. Tessa's low early. Majisk above the smoke. Not for long. Nico reads it. And Heroica moved very deep into the site. They've actually pressed, uh, pressed Astralis all the way to the back. The Prezi only guy still left in A. And with him going down after just one, it's left Astralis playing retake on a bomb site they initially had four at. This is a bit of a predicament. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. Hoping these orbs can pop off in the post plant. Uh, but it's fast A plays. So we're going to have to wait another round to see if this double orb is all that effective. Well, Yugi's just been deleted. Ooh. Borup following up. Magisk is here. Now, like, trying to save the day a bit. Trying to kind of pick up Team Spirit in this round. And I'm, of course, talking about the Team Spirit of Astralis, not the CIS Legends. Magisk down towards Ivy. Keeping his eye on this location while the rest of the gang now try to take a position to deal with Main. Magisk, though, he's got his head on a swivel. Ooh. And this man is looking like Owlboy here. He's blowing that head around. He's finding kills left and right, but finally, Stan will come in with the trade, and now it's Device 1v2. And that's walking into the path. The device is on as well. He's about to get the info. They're not going to check it. That's the kill. 14 seconds. Trades out to the AK-47. The bomb on the ground. And Heroic need to get that plant in. Device has a spot. And he knows Stown's likely sticking it. Going to move closer and closer. On top of the train. Stown in the sight. And the jump for Device. Oh, he gets peaked midair. And Stown closes the round. He's still floating around. The bomb is outside of B, though. So these guys in Ivy and nothing more than a little distraction. And now actually on the back of seeing Device's AWP ring out over at the B bomb site, this might be a change of strategy from Heroic. However, it's brains meeting Brawn down in Ivy. And Magisk has come out on top. Cadian on one point of health. And Magisk almost with a double. With three players here for Astralis. Magisk getting aggressive. Cadian, this should be the end of him. And it is. Cadian has been removed. Borup, Tessas, 2v5 now. You're asking a lot. They're not able to deliver. Borup left all alone. Does at least have himself this bomb, but yikes, man. Didn't even hear the shot from Device. Oh, but they're Stown. thinking heroic, like, ha ha ha, main's clear. Yeah, we're gonna, oh, Stown does get Yugi, but Dupree on the main push, unsurprisingly, does get the rest. And, no. uh, yeah, a bit of an interesting one. Desperately desire with the bomb. That's the win in and of itself, if you're lucky enough to be heroic right now. And we'll get this bomb planted and now closing the distance. Device spamming this Tech-9, that's going to give his position away. And Tess says, continuing oh. to go aggressive, actually runs out of ammo. Magisk and Dupree, they put this back in a good situation for the Astralis side. 3v2 now. Orb still up in the retake. That's going to be in the hands of Yugi, and he's going to have to be instrumental here in this retake. Holding down these post plots. The molly burns out Borup, and now they know 
where Kadian resides, but Yugi not able to get the shot off, and now just oh, taking the ball. Yeah. Kadian, he's on it! Kadian's oh. on it! And he just about gets him off. It's going to be heroic. Getting a fourth round off on the board. Could be possible with the Strasse's money on edge. His grenade hits Kadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, no! no. He, was, he couldn't even see! Magis, that's not fair! That's not fair, Magis. Come on, you can't do them like that. They're Danish as well. Heroic. Three on five now on the back of Magis, just fully blind, mopping up the pop dog. And here comes Dupree to help out as well. This leaves Stown and Kadian. Kadian's, you know, like teasing with the tip of the orp a bit, trying to give it away. Dupree, very invested in keeping oh, an eye on this, and he will catch Kadian. So, yeah, this would be nuts if Stown does it. Here's the audio, here's the audio falling back, that's something. And actually no one's watching the pop dog, so a bit of a free kill, but Machis comes from above, Stown kills him. Oh dear, messy one. Luckily, there's only 15 seconds left. Astralis looking to stop this bomb from getting planted. Zipnix doesn't want him to cross to the site. He's gonna play at the back of the train, does spot him, and Stown, oh, he fakes it out. Zipnix just in the heads of his enemies, rent free, doesn't even need to push. And even though he does, it doesn't matter. The grenade will finish the job. Some back round and he's dropped himself a smoke. Down at the ramp, Magisk actually aggressing into main. Strips one from the ranks of Heroics. Down has gotten out through Ivy, but there should be a man keeping an eye on this. Actually, he slipped by using that smoke. He's caught a timing Ooh. past Yugi, and will end up taking care of a man at the A site. Now Dupree, shut down as well. There's only one man alive over inside of B, and with his death, the bomb is now given over to Astralis. Yeah, Stown's had a great half, but he's been left in so many clutches, so many lurks and flanks that Astralis are just ready and waiting for, and they'll have no issue here and now. 11-4 for Heroic and Astralis. Don't know what they're about to walk into, but let's see if they can figure it out. Let's see if they can piece together this puzzle as they go storming down ramp. Quick shot from Tessie, takes the first kill, and Astralis, they've now figured it out. Not the full, uh, not the full setup, not the full do uh, details and the grisly knowledge that Astralis are walking into a, a full setup. Plants coming through, but it will be denied. And now it is just down to one man. You can deep within the site, but he's past Heroic and he's got a 180 into his own death. That's going to be a round for Heroic. As this utility comes on over, he finds himself back inside of A. Sound trying to hide, hold close to main. We'll put up one onto Yugi. Trade's going left and right, but Kadian not going down without a fight, and that's exactly what he's going to get. Top. Seven seconds. Time is Ooh. the problem. Zipex going to get this bomb down. They're trying to deny it, and it's not planted for Astralis. Barup comes in and finishes Ooh. things off. Heroic. They put themselves a seven. Time to get set up in these post plants and the well timed utility, these Molotovs have bought even more time, whittled even more time away off of this clock now. Device taking matters into his own hands, swings on the peak. Ooh, Ooh, looking for another. And Device pinned down inside of the site. Two players fall, leaving it onto Zipex. But if one man could get you believing for Astralis, it might be this one. They're on the bomb. Zipex oh, is the damage, and he's going to take down all three. Zipex with a stellar clutch. And this is why we talk about this man the one downside of such a one-sided first half for Astralis and Kadian. Luckily enough, he's not really in the business of slowing down as this guy. He's now residing with Astralis to try and recuperate this man advantage. Kadian's going to keep on holding this aggressive line into main. He do manage to get Yugi into the front line all alone. But what's he able to do from here? He's very much pinned on in. And one by one, Astralis get picked apart in that round there by just walking everywhere towards B. You don't have to, to run above those walls and let the CTs close pop here where you go. And Astralis, well, no uh, tricks in this round, just pistols. Quick one as well. Heroka found four kills in the blink of an eye. Borup with a double and pop. And Zipex, no bomb and really no chance. Might just run out into B and see what he can do. But Heroic, it should be ready for this. Even falling off of the train, but Nico is ready. And there it is. Bit of a dink. Got close, but... Ready to come in on a pop dog flank. Zipex, his kind of timing here is everything. And Nico, oh, he gets up nice and nice. close. He bides his time, and that's going to be two for one for the man in pop dog. Bear in mind, there wasn't just one player here, there was two. The other one, Borup, he's all the way in T spawn. He continued flanking. And Device, no idea, absolutely no idea that there's a man so deep. I don't know, man. This is scary, though. He 
even with Whoa. the AK. Never mind, never mind. They try and Goomba stomp him. They fall on down. They land on the head. And Testes just tears it all apart. That is a slaughter. Yeah, that's a weird one for Astralis, right? They throw the pop exit smoke, which, which you know, or Molly, rather, which you're going to take their map away. Very, very fast round, a real change of pace, and a change of pace is not going to change the results. Forup sends the packing. Tessas in with another. And it's Device and Zipex left up in a two on four. They lose Device, and with his fall, they also lose the bomb. Yeah, this is probably the end. They're holding, they're ready, they deal with him. 14 on the board for Heroic. Molotov comes in. Oh, look at Device on the minimap, though. He's going back towards Popdog. He's going to A. Forup has spotted it. He knows. And he does take down a man on the retrieve on the receiving end. But Device has already got this bomb plant in. And with Yugi covering him with the AWP, this is a pitch perfect round for Astralis. Yugi's missed his shot. He's left Device alone. One on two for all the marbles. Oh, dear. Device now is asked to do it all. The man to plant the bomb now is to be the one to detonate it as well. And he's going to wrap over here. Ooh. Hiding, fighting his time, does drops down, and now just Borup oh. to deal with. Device is going to answer the call. He wins out the 1v2. I'm here in Ivy. They are starting to push on out. Tessas is going to block that smoke. Gives himself a little bit of room to peek into main, but find a kill for his troubles. Borup trying to rotate into CT to get a handle back on this Ivy position. Yugi getting caught. On the wall there. Walking into a trap. Yugi's here on top of the trains. And even just let, letting go of Crouch would give him the view to back Ivy. They're going to boost. He's not seen it. He's not spotted it. Yugi can't tell. And Kaney has gotten two kills from atop the train. It's just Device in another clutch here for Astralis. He has to close it out. And Device with no kills presented to, to him. He wants to save this orb. He can drop guns over as well. It's definitely worth it for Astralis. But... Molly straight into main. Astralis giving no free room to move. Dupree's gone out. The e-box smoke missed. It's not a problem. He's got a kill. He doesn't realize they're in Pop Dog. The Molly makes it look clear, but Tessas is hiding behind it. Good play from Tessas. Oh dear, the orb shot missed and be up, but that's giving Astralis a pick towards that inner site, and they will not stop. They will just take every opportunity they've been given and go full on with it. Yugi, another entry kill, and Astralis have taken B and a four on two. Overtime for our opening map is looking locked in, unless these two players are heroic and stop it. Missed shot from Zipex. Zipex has given his position away, but the Molotov buys him time, and this one looks impossible. Oh, we're going to overtime, baby out again keeping us on our toes and walking into this two-man setup in the a side oh and that's a big kill to find if your name just happens to be device now cadium will reply with one of his own still Ooh. falling down the connector but a missed shot has allowed this bomb into the site yugi trying to plug in those numbers and he will get the bomb planted for it boosted up and over and yugi will find him in response so it looks like it's going to be astralis Taking the first round here in overtime. Device is Ooh, even hounding down Cadian, and he's heard the scope. Device is going to win that one out. He's on a tear. This final round of OT. They'd love to at least put one on the board. This could certainly be it. Trades again come through, but just shows the bomb and pop dog. Astralis, they want this out of sight, and they won't be waiting around for it. Right now, Cadian's pushing B. He's going to have this info sooner rather than later, but Astralis are already out and about in the yard. Nico watching that cross. Styles drop the orb. The bomb follows, and now Yugi in a one on four with the orb posted on him. He hits a 98 damage thing through the wall onto Stal, but it still won't be enough for this round. Three peak on the back of it. Now held back in pop. Yugi, first kill on the board. Still three to find. Two of them floating around this connector position. The other is Kadian and Pop Dog, and Yugi was aware of this. Starting to swing out. Does retrieve the bomb. Has time to play with as well. There's a player in heaven and there's a guy at hell. Now if Yugi deals with one of these, oh, oh is he gonna be ready for the other? He's backing up into the man at hell, and Nico's gonna solidify it. Oh, Magisk, he's got to nail this first shot. The smoke's gone down, not able to find anything on the timing. This is going to give a route through CT. Dupree oh. catches a man falling despite being blind, and even then, Device as well, ringing out with another. Somehow, some way, Astralis, oh. they just might take this one back in their favor. However, that kill from Borup propels Heroic into this two on four, and it gives them a bit more of a fighting chance, a bit more wiggle room out in this A bomb site. 
No one pressuring it from Astralis. The only kind of form of defense we've got is Yugi boosted up and an immediate repeak available from Dupree in the Pop Dog. And he'll swing out, catches not one, but two of the players. This is a valuable position. He needs to look the right place though. On top of the train, and he's got the kill. Magist down. Device is going to pivot on the site though. He gets a spot. He won't get the shot. Borup given a second chance at life, but he's walking into another orb. Neither one is safe. You've got to be careful with your Borup. Device has been taken down. Dupree trades the orb of Cadian. Still one left up in the hands of Yugi. Dupree is still on the site as well. Good kill. Traded immediately. And now it's going to be down to a two on two with the bomb only just coming out of Tcon. Bar up and sound. Such an important 2v2 to keep the dream alive. It's down has fallen at the first hurdle. Bar up now all alone. He does get that bomb planted, but that flash, oh. that has ended him. His whole game comes to a close. Here is Alexander moving to one of their better maps, if not their best. So let's see what they got in store for us. A banana device goes into the setup, and there are three men here. Grenade follows that kill, but Astralis are a little bit further back, and Yugi's actually going to manage to trade out for what? His teammate dies right after, and Yugi gets out of there with a bomb. Yes, indeed, Hugo. Nico going to get molotov out of the pit and looking for these kills. However, he's been betrayed by his little tapping finger. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Nico. Oh, he's giving what? another go. He's managed to get the reload off. Really don't know how he's been alive so long, and now Yugi needs to ace it to find the pistol here for us. Oh dear. Fight. Four of the five kills needed coming from Yugi. But not quite enough. And I mean, can you blame him? Kadian is here, an excellent timing. And he walked the entire way as well. So Zipex can't hear him. Luckily enough, kill going the way of Stalin. Kadian doesn't take that frag in mid. He wants more. He wants a multi-kill and he might get it as well. A re-smoke needs to be found, but there's no one here to throw it. So Astralis are actually walking through mid. Kadian, he should spot them, but he might just miss the killing shot, the killing blow. Oh dear, this is not the gun for range, but luckily no armor. He gets away with one, but that's not worth it at all. Yugi's going to trade. Luckily, Heroic is still in control of this round and Dupree's been dropped up on the archway as well. So one by one, these pistols should get ridded of this round and the bomb dropped in the middle, it's just uh, Zipex left alone. He heard the footsteps of Zipex going past, so he has already called for this rotation, but that's a bomb plant for Astralis, a bomb plant that they, they shouldn't have found, honestly. I don't really know how that one gets given away. Heroic are playing passive, and, and it's almost like they're welcoming Astralis, right? Three inside of B, but no one fighting Banana is it, such a bait. And the fact that Tessus gets a kill on A as well, Dupree getting overwhelmed by a Molotov, that's going to send Astralis into this setup. Heroic may look like they have two here, but they've got three already. The first loss, Stam peeks out wide, he gets a double bomb drop. There's the trade from Zipex, but do they know? Are they ready? Borup is here. He's had a flash assist in the kill feed. That's information that Astralis was surely used to their advantage. They're going to be ready for a man here and a Molotov will land, forcing him into the open, he's burning. They're watching for it, and Zipex, fully blinded, gets that kill. What a hero. You to think that if Bora peaked early, he probably would have won that round straight up. Now it's still on the cards, now it's still up in the air. Yugi in a clutch. Oh, and he stuck the bomb. Nico rushes the smoke. Five on the board. They still have a map to their name in this series. They're looking for just a round in this one. Another fast uh, pace one towards the A site. It's Nico inside the pit hiding. Tessa is overwhelmed. Nico's still here and they haven't cleared it out, but they should be ready for a second man. Short side, Yugi's jumped on his head. And Kadian is now cordoned out of the site by the utility. This is more like Astralis in this round. And Device is even pushing smokes just to make matters worse for Heroic. Dresser, sure. You know, he knows my hair. I know he can cut hair. It's like, you know, all other barbers, mate, they can all... And they're going in quick. Sounds good a spot. Um, he hasn't seen the bomb, but he's got enough info that it looks like a commitment. Borup is hiding inside of the pit, and he's going to mow them down a little off the side, a little more off the top. It's going to be a chop here for Heroic as they mow down as far as low HP for the remaining players. Now it's all on zip. He can't do anything. What a spray down from Stown. With. They decide to hold on to what they've got because ultimately it does matter if they make it or not. They'll try and get into this A bomb site. Nico down in the pit. Also, as Tess says here, it's a double setup in pit for Heroic. Borup in the bomb site has done enough anyway, and this round is over. It's Heroic with this A side stack. And right, so. We're expecting a bit of a, a comeback, a bit of a resurgence, and that could be it from Dupree. Two kills. He lines him up in the apartments. It's a mow down, a mop up, and he's not going to commit. It's down on Banana, shuts down device. That's a solo player there. The rest of Astralis hitting A, and luckily there is only Tessa's left here in the pit on his own. 
Estrella is here, one man to get past. Not able to be enough of a nuisance down in the pit, and Borup has been mollied out from library. Sound wrapping up short side, and Molotov also tries to cut him off, but he responds to it with aggression. He goes through and tries to close the distance over here at short side. He will get taken care of shortly thereafter, and for Borup, probably just going to be a save here. In this first half, Molotov on sound will leave him dead, but the flash is good and Device is actually gonna get taken down. It's a repeat off the back of Borum's flash and lots of assistance here. Heroic have great utility and they've completely blown Astralis out of banana. Four players here and nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for Astralis. They've got to elevate the pace towards A. They know the Heroic had a bit of a stack on that side of the map, so they've got to kill the man in the pit. Oh, this time they're not able to do that. Dupree. Helped out by gravity, meets an unfortunate end. Yugi now all alone, and while he does dispatch them out of the pit, there are a lot of guys on the other side. Even like, oh, there we go. Yeah, bomb plant he's off denied. It. Down oh, waiting at no. standbacks, he's gone unchecked, and no. he's waiting. He's biding his time. The longer he stays here, the more effective it is. And Stown can take it all away right now. Second time is the charm for Stown. Oh, no. And Borup actually nades him from the round. Borup gets a little jealous, I think as he brings down a lot of weight on Kadian's shoulders now. They're wrapping up through short, they're wrapping long, and Dupree what? missed shots onto Kadian, drops the molly, tries to stick around, and is somehow still alive. He's going to fall back. He's going to fight this one in the 3v2. In the clutch. Quick shot, not connected, does some damage, but Magis is low, he can't hang around here forever, but he does get the kill, not punished for that headshot angle, it does work in his favour, leaving things in a two on two, Magis drops the orb, and now it is just on Nikos, it won't give him a thing, and Magis peeking off the back of it with a flash to follow, he's going to find all three, great round from Magis. Oh, and a much faster approach this time. They're finally looking to try and take advantage of this understaffed, underwhelming A-bomb site. Kadian close oh. to the... Oh, no! The no-scope misses, as is just sometimes the way. Nico up here on the balcony, a lot to do and not much to get it done with. Story of my life. Tessez down through short, now leaves it all on Stown and a 1v4. Gonna try and hold on to the orb. He'll get away. Or will he? I mean... They have him trapped and with Banana cut off, he can't leave. He's only got a tag off that shot. He's gonna have to beat the Molotov. Oh, he gets a shot off though. Zipex is dead. Now it's down to the CT players. It's down. He's had a great game right now, but the flash could certainly create, a, uh, create problems. And it's actually a smoke instead. You can shoot him right through. Find any damage on the back of it. Actually, he really does. What am I talking about? Device is brought down very, very Oh, what? <laughs> okay, and good. And Dupree in a bit of an awkward spot. It's full flashed in middle. Kadian's on meme patrol. Indeed he is. P90 fans around the world rejoicing right now. A famous as well. It's uh, it's just a day away from the meta. We've taken a bit of a holiday here. It's the famous doing damage. Immediately getting put to a close. Here comes the rotation and Kadian immediately throws that P90 away. Their name moving into the second half. If they win this pistol, Astralis might just get blown out of the water. If it goes the other way, then the comeback can come in. It's a fast B play though. Heroic don't want to wait us wondering, wait us leaving, or leave us waiting rather, as they run into the bomb site. Yeah, quick little stumble here and there, and Heroic, they are all low. These nades have found a lot of damage. They're closing the gap, but there's still more Astralis players here. Every time they kill one, there's even more. Zipnik's hiding in the smoke. It's chaos, and oh, he's going to go ahead and take down another 2v2 now. And Nico with one point of health. Avant got play, but he's going on this big flank in through T spawn. Oh, now they God. do find Nico. We kind of expected it. We kind of knew it was going to happen because we put all our hopes and dreams into this man right here. Let's see if he can deliver. He's come in through this CT oh, wrap. No, he's, he's dead. taken the long way around, but ultimately it is all for nothing. Ray of Flash is going to come on through on the back. Yugi up here on the boost spot. Does get blinded. Device fares no better. And goodbye B. Goodbye B site hold. Everyone falls in a matter of moments. Wow. Bomb plant found heroic. They take this B site by storm. They take advice. Bomb long side did not work out. That's the thing, right? Even if you think back to the road to Rio that just very, very recently Ooh. came to an end. Device started that looking pretty slow. Wow. And then he warmed up into the swing of things and became a real talking point for Astralis. Well, what do you right know? Now? What do you know, Hugo? It's almost like Device 
He started slow, and now he's become a real talking point for Astralis again. Two kills in this round, and Device, another one. He goes from four to seven at the end of play in this round, and a chance maybe even another. He's aggressing into the top yes. of mid, and Device, welcome to the server. Oh, it's definitely, and, oh, Device. Oh, where is he been? Oh, first oh, half, he was right. absent, and now, Coming alive, boy, do you feel his presence in this server, but look at Borup, speaking of presence, this guy has got a lot of ground at long. Device is gonna put him back in the earth of which he runs on, and now Dupree looking at short side. Testes has snuck past already, and Dupree is not aware of that. So he ends up getting blindsided. Device now alone in the site. This has gone from looking great to very worrisome. Device. Up close and helped out by Zipex. This round might be saved after all. Cadian trying to make a big old play, a big boy play here in the 1v3. Damage onto Zipex, not quite the kill. And backing up, who into? Device. Device. Three kills in that round there. Have the energy to have this big play from Graveyard that he so desperately needs. So let's see. Has everyone showing him enough gratitude? Dupree touching the shot of the AWP, and he does manage to deal with Tessas. Now sprinting through the long smoke is going to be the other three for Heroic. They deal with the man inside of the site. And a bomb plot now found. Three on four in the retake. Do Astralis want to give this one a go? What a shot. Device knocks Borup out of the round, jumping across. And now, now the retake's on. Kits available, Molotov in the site pushes down to the back, and Magis is gonna flash that fight. He goes above, and he will go down. Stown taking some damage, Nico the same, but Kadian's already killed Yugi on the corner, putting Device in a clutch that he will not attempt, a one on three. They've discounted it entirely. This has almost got to be an app drop here from Heroic. They are committed. They are going for it. And Tessa is down in the pit. The first man in. What? And also the first to fall. But maybe the first of many is one by one Heroic. They get churned up. And this might be a flawless round for Astralis. How the hell did Dupree get two kills there? He was full flash. That grenade will kill him. But he was full white as they came at apps. He hides in the pit. He doesn't even take a blind shot. And Zipex, and Zipex is going to get boosted on up for this CT position. Now the utility comes in, but the timing on this boost is great. Wow. Zipex immediately reaps the reward, puts it back in the advantage of Astralis. Very well timed from him and Yugi at the B site of play. And now for Astralis, now you're four on three, you've got utility, and Zipex is still finding kills through the smoke. Oh. Hello. He does try and go in. Device trades on to Kadian, and this is going to leave Tessas in a 1v3. He's trapped in pool, looking for a way out, and he thinks he might find it here at the coffins. There's only one man here to swing wide, and Yugi has that kill dead to rights. It's match, and now series point. Fighting for CT right now. Yugi's trying to cover that with Zipex, and he'll rotate back towards B as Zip takes these fights. He's dropped one, the trade is in. Yugi might need to reconsider, but instead, the bomb's that day, and that might get hurt, might have been heard. Device is pushed short. He hears the footsteps. He knows they're running back, and Yugi has to be ready on the B bomb site. Ooh, they're gonna try and catch him, and Device plays it to perfection. But now we look towards Yugi. Now we look to the new boy on the block for Astralis Ooh. to try and hold this B site, and he is not able to do so. Neither of his, neither is Device in rotation. Magis one v three to deny a 14th round to Heroic, and he's not even attempting it. He wants to hold on to the orb. At least been given that much control, but just letting them get away with it though. He's going to peek on the long corner and gets away with a big couple of kills. Majis finding two, going to flash his teammates up the short side as well, but he's actually been orbed on the repeat. Kadian gets control along, and now Astralis need to dedicate a player to that position. Yugi in the back of the site. This Molotov that Yugi still possesses could be huge in buying time here. And he's going to hopefully throw that in now. Follows up with a nade first. Zip next with the spray down. And they get stopped in their tracks. The Molly comes Ooh. in. Kadian, does he manage anything here? He gets the first, runs on in. And to his demise, Astralis, they solidify the victory here.